how are you? Welcome to your April 2016 reading. Um, really quick, I wanted to do a quick shout out to one of my very, very best friends that I know personally who just started her own um, tarot channel as well. Her name is Shooting Stars Tarot. If you want to go ahead and check her out, she truly is a very genuine, sweet, sincere person. So I wish her nothing but the best with her channel. So um, here we go. I'm going to do your love reading with this um, <clears throat> deck. This is the Rider Weight deck. And then I'm going to do your general reading this month with the Tarot of Delphi that I used back in February. It's my favorite deck and I wanted to kind of bring it back. So here we go. Leo, oh, I can do this. Your love reading for April 2016. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that top one definitely wants to come out, so we will let it. King of Wands. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is one of the strangest readings I think I've ever had. Um, strange because there's not a lot of elements to it. I mean, the eight, nine, ten of swords, and then you have a lot of people, and then the world, which is somehow um, here, just sort of thrown in the mix. So, Leo, what is going on with you? <laughs> My goodness. Um, <coughs> here you are in the middle, okay? Um, King of Wands, strong, sturdy, um, a very typical, I don't want to say typical in an offensive way, but a very true to your element, right? True to your Leo self. Okay, there's, there's a lot of um, goodness about you this month, you being who you are. And it's a good thing that you're showing up as a king too because I think you need that king-like maturity, that king-like stability in order to deal with some of the issues that maybe you're having. Um, very much a love reading, perhaps multiple offers from people. Um, if you don't see it as, I'm going to read it as multiples, but if you don't see it that way, it can more be just from your partner or from maybe people that you're dating um, or from one specific person that you're dating. But ultimately, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm saying multiples is because I'm kind of seeing two little stories here. I'm seeing the Page of Cups with the Queen of Cups, and then I'm seeing the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Cups as sort of like because they're in line together. Um, and each row has a sword element, right? I mean, this one does too, but um, for me, this page of cups indicating a message, right? That you receive a message. It is coming to you. It can indicate communication going both ways, but typically, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's more towards you. And, and the reason why I say that is because it's um, coming to you in, in a more unexpected manner, right? From an unexpected place. Maybe some news or, or some information about someone or from someone um, that you weren't expecting to hear and that if you were to really sit and think about it now, there's no way you could guess or project what that news is or where it would come from. Um, it's a very, it's a romantic message, right? It has to do with matters of the heart, but it could just be, I mean, because it's, I mean, here in between, I, I'm sort of bouncing around, I'm sorry. Let me just focus a little bit. Um, 
You have the Nine of Swords here, and I feel like this message is directly connected with this person because these swords are pulling here, right? They're pointing to this person. And this person is, you know, sharing a suit here. It's interesting too, you even have, it's sort of all triangulating here, um, the suit of cups. Um, the Queen of Cups, potentially a water sign. Now, the reason why I'm saying there's multiples is because I'm actually getting that these are two people, okay? Um, but it may represent the same person. It may represent your partner, your significant other. If you're dating, it's possible that you have multiple quality prospects in your life right now that you might be receiving multiple messages from multiple people. But I'm, I'm not sure it's exactly what you want to hear. I'm not sure the state of mind that you're in right now is, is really willing or ready to hear it. Okay, I think you might be dealing with something, and I'll know more when I pull more cards, and hopefully we'll know more when we do the general reading, but um, these messages are, are causing you to, to go into a dark state, to spin mentally, right? Sometimes, let, let's say as an example, okay, purely an example, let's say you are married and you are approached by someone that perhaps you have a good chemistry with and they express interest in you. Well, while it can be flattering, especially if you, know, you, you feel that same way too, um, I mean, regardless, it can be flattering, but putting you, it does put you in a very difficult position, right? Especially if you have feelings back toward that new person. So depending on the situation that you're in in your life, while these messages might be good and there might be people coming in, there might be suitors, um, and there might be some courtships going on, I don't think it's exactly what you want or it's causing you some distress. A, 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 some, a lot. I mean, eight, nine, ten of swords, right? It's causing you to feel trapped and unable to to move about freely, which is more in your nature, right? King of Wands, uh, adventure and and transformation and changing and and causing you, you know, and not causing, but you are uh, a creature of independence, a creature of freedom, and. When you feel this way, when you feel trapped, when you feel um, frustrated or confined, it doesn't just confine your spirit, it puts you in a dark mental state, okay? It affects you. Your mind is spinning. Your mind, I think, is probably the most active of any signs that I've done, <laughs> done readings for this month. Um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of questions, a lot of doubts, a lot of, well, what if this, what if that, what are the consequences for this and for that, and, and weighing options, really. Um, feeling, now I don't read reversals, okay? I mean, I do. I read reversals in my personals, but um, in my generals, I don't. But I'm getting a sense that if I did, this card especially would be coming up reversed. And the reason for that is I feel, I mean, and I'm not, I'm not just going to turn it, I'll turn it back, but I just want you to kind of see, you know, the, the world in reverse, it's, it's kind of a, a lack of completion. A, a frustrating position that you're in doesn't necessarily make you feel complete. It doesn't make you feel like everything is right, like all the pieces of the puzzles are coming together. I really don't think that that is where you're at right now. I think you, you might be feeling, I mean, quite heavy, emotionally quite heavy. And I'm sorry, I'm just thinking because if, 
I wish I kind of knew what this message was, right? What this person might be saying, what this person might be saying. If it is just indicative of one person in your life, your partner, what is it that they're saying? What is it, is it that they are doing that is causing you to feel so trapped? Are they putting pressure on you uh, to move into the next phase? Are they, are they pressuring you or um, placing ultimatums on you? You know, Obviously, they are interested in you, okay? I think you have one person or two people, at minimum, maybe more, uh, interested in you. You're a very attractive person. You're very charismatic. You're very magnetic. Leo, I mean, you have a beautiful, beautiful spirit that just... It's like a whirlpool, you know, it kind of sucks everybody in or a tornado, you know, just sucks in everything and in a positive way. And I think that's what's happening. But for whatever reason, you are being faced with some sort of a choice. And that choice or that decision to either move forward into something that's more committed or into the next phase, having children or moving from location, one location to another, whatever that is, um, is causing you to maybe feel a little bit torn. I think people are demanding a lot from you right now. They are requesting things from you. They're um, expecting things back from you and things that you might not be ready to give. Um, things that you might not be ready to give and things that maybe you don't know if you feel like you will ever be ready to give. You might be faced right now with, you know, some sort of a, a difficult decision about, you know, and I don't see any indication of endings, but when you feel this way, you might be feeling like you really have no more resources left. You have nothing else left to give. This is a very demanding type of energy, you know, um, the Queen of Swords, not necessarily air signs. They're, they don't necessarily have to be demanding, but the Queen of Swords is demanding. She does have a lot of expectations in terms of her partner, in terms of her life journey. She's very, you know, persuasive, very um, gung-ho about her life. And the Queen of Cups had, requires a lot of emotional resources from other people, right? She she runs deep, her emotions run deep, and sometimes it can be a little bit too deep, therefore trapping the beautiful, free, independent Leo. Um, when they need things from you and they tell you what they need, is it something that you can give? When they have expectations for you and, and your life together and moving forward and they you know, are very honest, I think there's going to be a lot of honesty this month, but you ultimately need to figure out your level of honesty as well and are you being truly honest with yourself? How will you find this sense of completion? How will you find that peace? Um, I'm going to pull more because I'm dying to see what else we get. Okay, I'm not going to shuffle too many times. I know the shuffling can get kind of boring sometimes. One more. This one here. Okay, yes, well, here's the choice right here. Okay, the choice between um, two people, two paths. Um, I think it's also a battle within yourself between your intellect and your heart, okay? What you know, what you think, or uh, what you know and what you think versus what you feel. And, and um, those resources that are required um, from other people. And 
you somehow are feeling blinded. Oftentimes the Two of Swords and Eight of Swords come out together because there's that element of not being able to see. Not being able to see your way out, not being able to see the truth, not uh, willing or able or like sometimes no matter what you choose it feels wrong or it feels, you know, sometimes both feel right and therefore they're both right or they're both wrong, so there is no wrong choice, so which one do you choose? Which one is the worst one? Which one is the best one? Um, and sometimes that can be quite demanding and cause this type of, of heaviness as well. I see you craving space, craving freedom. You might be feeling suffocated right now. You need your independence, your you, Leo, an independent entity, um, not relied upon by anybody else. Now, I'm not saying to go and, and get divorced or go and break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever it is, um, but I am saying that you need to find a way to relieve yourself from these worries, to relieve yourself from these stress, from these demands. And I feel that these demands truly are coming from other people. and you are kind of sort of stuck in in the chaos, stuck in the whirlwind of other people's expectations. Um, your desire to break free and just breathe, I think is very, very strong right now. Anyone with this much, these many swords, anyone um, will take this page of swords in a heartbeat and just find a way to alleviate this stress and, and communicate, yes, this is a card of communication um, and also a card of truth and honesty, expression of honesty. Pages are expressions of honesty. So if you are truly feeling this way and there is one or two or three or four people that are requiring your energy you really need to decide where your energy is best spent. If you think it's time for you to have some you time, then take it, okay? If you can find it, then take it. Um, because ultimately, it is about you, it is about your happiness. Their demands, their emotional and, you know, mental demands, or their demands of you socially, their demands of you in terms of your role, you know, especially in a husband-wife situation, um, the, the man's role, the woman's role, uh, sometimes the expectations and the obligations and the responsibilities can become quite overbearing. And if that's the case for you, then communication is key, number one, and to find a way to find some space so that you can just breathe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do your general reading now because I'm actually really, really curious to see what, what comes up when I do that. So let me just pop these back in the deck really quick. Okay, and then again, I'll, I told you before, I'm gonna use my Tarot of Delphi deck here that I used back in February. A lot of controversy about this deck. Personally, I love it, and really it's more to inspire me, the reader, and uh, I haven't really been using it for any personals or anything like that. So, Leo, what are your general messages for April 2016? Ah. Okay, <laughs> well, um, I can't pull out this many cards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this deck is quite clumsy. It's kind of a strange size. It's difficult to grasp, so that happens actually more often than I would like to admit. But I do think we're getting to be done here right now. Okay. The Empress, Hero of Cups again, 
Four of Wands, Three of Coins, The Garden, okay, The World again, Hermit, of course, Nine of Swords again, and The Lovers, and The Enchantress of Coins, okay, so quite a different reading this time. Um, I'm not sure why the contradiction, oftentimes the, the readings are very similar, but it does tie in to the love aspect because we have the lovers. When you pull the lovers, even though it can indicate, you know, communication and, and reaffirmation of our personal beliefs and things like that, ultimately it does pull us back into that romance department, okay? Um, the garden, again the empress, okay, the goddess of earth, the mother, what, what's uh, Venus, <laughs> goddess of love. So a lot of the heart elements here. I will go ahead and start with the nine of swords again. We kind of already talked about that. That really is more of that darker energy, okay? Protecting things that maybe or suppressing things or, or keeping secrets and, and allowing things to, to fester within your mind, within your heart, within your soul. Those darker things can, can oftentimes lead to issues in other areas because um, it's just not healthy <laughs> to suppress things that, that are really, really, truly bothering you. A hero of Cups, again, okay, so this card is, I guess if you were, well, it's actually, it doesn't really cross compare to the court cards. Um, this deck is kind of an interesting one. So, but if I were, I would say that this is more closely related to the Knight of Cups. But this is about communication. That's what this card is. It's about reporting and and being objective in your report, right? Really what's bothering you, really what's going on, really how do you feel, and, and being true and honest with yourself and expecting truth and honesty from others as well, which you deserve. Um, I think that this Empress here really, again, is is your energy, a much more of a, a feminine energy. When I if you're a man watching this, I don't mean to offend you, but it's it's more just the that inner working of our mind and our hearts versus the external, what it is we go out and do and, and the actions that we take, right? So it's, it's more that, not calling you a feminine or anything like that. But um, this is a comp uh, reaffirmation or reiteration, I guess, of kind of what I said before of, of finding, you know, stepping away, stepping back and, and reconnecting with yourself a little bit and not allowing some of the pressures or some of the things that you're hearing, maybe some of the gossip even um, that you are, are hearing or receiving, even if it's rumors or whatever, um, not allowing that to really affect you and to just find your center directly connected with the hermit as well. The hermit brings that peace, okay? The hermit allows you, allows us to reconnect with ourselves, with our higher purpose. So what is it that you really want? And, and not to get so caught up in the drama of relationships because sometimes those expectations, sometimes those demands, um, the emotional and mental demands from other people can get so severe that, that it really, hey, Cheeto. Sorry, my cat's making some noise. Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, those demands can get so heavy and, and so severe, but ultimately it's all just, a lot of it's very superficial. You know, a lot of it isn't relevant to you and your life. Um, even if it is coming from a partner, from a significant other, someone with whom you do have obligations and responsibilities, ultimately uh, it can even be a message for them as well, for them to just step back and, and to find their center, to find their peace, okay, to find the empress within themselves and, and see truly their purpose, you to see yours, and your purpose together, okay? Um, three of Coins is really about that launch pad, okay? It's, it's using past experiences, past work, past um, 
whatever it is you've gone through. It's like your, your portfolio of your life, right? And in using that to leverage that into greater opportunities. Um, this hermit too with the four of wands, I feel like through this process, the hermit is a process. It takes a long time to get through that. Okay, sometimes we find that emotional retreat and it takes days, weeks, months to really get through to the other side. But on the other side, you have new beginnings. Okay, the three of coins, like I said, that launch pad for something new. The threes, ruled by the empress, which you have in the center, really is about new life. New life in yourself, new life in your purpose. And Four of Wands is stability, happiness, and joy. And, and there's a social element to that as well. A lot of social elements for you. A lot of people in that first reading for sure. Um, and even people, 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 people. <laughs> so you definitely have people in your life. Um, the lovers. Why is the lovers causing you so much darkness here? Directly connected there. Your significant other, your dating situation, the person you're just starting to get to know, um, might be just the catalyst for you to really go through this self-examination period and, and to alleviate and eliminate the unnecessary demands in your life. Um, Enchantress, Enchantress of Coins. Not necessarily seeing this as a person, more so your energy, okay? Again, the Empress, Enchantress of Coins, your energy. And summoning or beckoning or manifesting uh, the things that you want. That is the purpose of the Hermit. Truly, that is the purpose, uh, to realign yourself with the stars. <laughs> Can I say the stars? Because the stars are our constants. They're, they are our compass in times of need, when, when everything is dark and everything is unknown, okay? When you are feeling confused and frustrated and if you are feeling like you're suppressing things that you really just need to just let out, um, the stars provide the light, albeit small, but it is that glimmering, glinting shimmer of hope that the situation that you're in can be overcome. And here you are manif manifesting that unto yourself. You are beckoning the life that you want, okay? I'm not saying that you are in a terrible, terrible situation. I just think there are a lot of as I say, I've been saying the word a lot, but the demands on you. And um, like I even said, perhaps some ultimatums and, and choosing between two things that either both feel right or both feel wrong. And you need to decide, somehow you need to decide what it is that you are gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna react? Um, but ask yourself, of the two things that might feel wrong or the two things that might feel right, how do you decide which one is truly in line with the path that you see for yourself in your life, truly? That can be a very difficult question to ask ourselves, okay? Very, very difficult. But ultimately, there is love around you. There are people around you that love you. <laughs> And, and I think the demands are out of love. You need your freedom, okay? Definitely, <laughs> definitely need your freedom. So an expression of that, an expression of needing space, I think might be well warranted at this point in time as well. So let's go ahead and... Um, Okay, I don't usually do this in my generals. In my personal, I do, but in my generals, I don't usually pull the cards that pop out, but I saw this one, so I'm just gonna stick with it. Not 
top one again. Okay. Five of Swords and the Enchantress of Wands. And here you are, again, truly an Enchantress of Wands, an Enchantress, a Queen of Fire. Okay, you are ringing true to your fire element this month. Um, the Five of Swords, you need to ask yourself which battles are worth fighting. Okay, at this point in time, you might be feeling out of control. With that many swords in your first reading, there's no question in my mind that you are at a, a time of just about ready to throw your hands up and walk away from the whole thing. Just walk away. I think you are fed up. I think you're frustrated. I think you are... You have remained strong, you have been powering through, you have been persevering and all that. Good job, good for you. Um, but ultimately, now is the time to decide which battles are worth fighting. And the threads of fate, and I, this is an equivalent to the Wheel of Fortune, but I like the concept of the threads of fate so much more because fate truly is our puppeteer, right? We have control over our life up to a certain point. At some point, we lose control and it really is up to the universe or God or the angels or however you see fit. Um, it truly is, there are so many things in this world and in this life that are so far beyond our control. And when this card comes up, it tells me that the universe is puppeteering, okay? There's a reason why you're here. You probably have no idea what that reason is, but there is a reason. And you might see it, you know, next year, five years, ten years down the road. You'll know exactly why you were meant to go through what it is you're going through now. And you are quite strong and you have the ability to, to make it through. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Um, I think that's it for your reading. So... Again, thank you for watching. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with you next month. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching.